What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Dravid, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough, the 2022-2023 edition, I don't know. We will find out. Probably. I don't know. I don't know. I, I think we will be finishing this thing up by, by the end of the year. So, anywho, in our last episode, yes, we have defeated the Elite Four. We are mighty, like Thor. And, uh, well, well, well. Now it is time for a new adventure. Now, before we do anything, we gotta take a few steps right here. Look at that. I am next door. You can actually call me, or you can just, like, holler outside. I don't know. But here's Professor Elm, and he's like, Hello, Draven! I have something for here for you. Could you swing by my lab? See you later. Okay, whatever you say, homeboy. Alright, so that's exactly what we're gonna be going to. Going to the... You know, Professor's Lab. We have defeated the Elite Four, yes sir. And, uh, Draven! There you are. I called because I have something for you. See, it's an SS ticket. Now you can catch Pokemon in Kanto. And look at that. We got the SS ticket. Much needed, uh, SS ticket. The ship departs from Olivine City. But you already knew that, Draven. After all, you traveled all over with your Pokemon. Give my regards to Professor Oak and Kanto. Okay, so, I gotta tell you a little funny story, guys. Before we move on, let me tell you a little funny story. That way you guys know how, you know, how dumb Draven was back as a kid. So, back in the day, when I was like around 10 to 12, 12 yeah, you know, pre and all that stuff, and I was playing this game, I actually thought defeating the Elite Four was the, the end-all be-all right here in Johto. I thought that, you know, there was nothing else. Uh, all I was doing was, well leveling up Pokemon with the same team, going to the Pokemon League constantly, and I think I went into the Pokemon League like about eight times. Literally eight times and leveled up my Pokemon uh, up to like their level 50s, 60s, and all that crud. Yeah, that's how dumb I was. Never realizing that, yeah, uh, I should have gone to Professor Elm and got that ticket, or read the instructions a little bit. As you guys probably... You know, you guys can probably can tell. Back then, the internet was a little scarce for my family because, well, we had dial-up and we had to ask permission to use anything. You know, TV, video games, all that stuff, internet. Yeah, it was a different time back in the, the, the late 90s, early 2000s and all that stuff. But yes, the funny thing was that one day I got really bored and I was like, you know what, let's go straight to Olivine City and see if, like, you know, that, that pesky... Uh, that pesky SS thing is going to open up, and bam, it opened up. And I soon realized that, well, yeah. I let a friend borrow one of my Game Boys and play my Pokemon Crystal and managed to get the SS ticket without me knowing. So this is probably what, like, escaped me. This is the reason why I was like, oh, wow, it, this was a big, big surprise for me. Hmm. So, yeah, the look on my face, literal look on my face when I realized that, hey, I can go to Kanto and do everything right there. It was a it was a bit of nostalgia. It really was, guys. And, uh, well, was I mad at my friend? Kinda. Just a little bit, but it worked out in the bad. It, it, well, it worked out in the end because, well, it, all in one, uh, one afternoon, I went all through Kanto. And then when I found out about Red, when I battled him, oh my god. When I battled Red, that was a whole different story right there. You guys should have seen uh, the look on my face when I went to go get Ho-Oh in the stuff. And, well, here we go. Welcome to the fast ship, SS Aqua. Will you be uh, boarding today? Yes, I will. May I see your SS ticket? And here we go, we flashed the ticket. Yes, we're going to be walking down, and, well, there's no Mew glitch right here, so yes, we're going to be going on board. Look at the SS Aqua right here, it's pretty cool. Alrighty. So here we are, we're leaving, and right when we get forward right here, this guy's like, Whoa! Excuse me. I was in a hurry. My granddaughter's missing. She's just a wee girl. If you see her, please let me know. Okay, alrighty. So first things first, guys, yes, in this in this right here, in Pokemon Crystal, yeah, we do have our very own room. Actually, let's go ahead and talk to this guy right here. Let's see. He's like, here's your cabin. If your Pokemon get hurt, take a nap in your bed. That will heal them. Okay, so look at that. I, yeah, and this is another place that I fail to realize that, you know, hey, you know, you can heal your Pokemon and all that stuff. And, yeah, we got our own PC. We got this. Holy crud. We are treated like kings. So, moving on forward, let's go right ahead and start battling some people. You know, getting the lay of the land and all that crud. And, uh, well, that's, there's nobody here, but I do think there's somebody right there. And maybe I should switch it out. 
been a it's been a while since I've seen Torpedo. So let's go right ahead. And speaking of which, now that we're not in the Pokemon League, I think it would be best if we start switching out items right here, you know, getting the amulet coin, all that stuff, because, well, you know, I kind of want to be a little rich, and uh, actually, yeah, let's give uh, the experience here to Serpentera. Let's go right ahead and give the amulet coin to, uh, let's see, let's go with uh, Chico right here. And what else? Let's see, uh, the quick wall, that will be for later. Yeah, let's just go ahead and do that and start battling some people right here. So, first order of business right here, guys. I know what you guys are thinking. You guys are probably asking already. Hey, when are you going to bring in the, the old team for Pokemon Yellow? As soon as we get to Kanto, which will be probably in the next episode, I am going to figure that out. Uh, so first things first, guys. A few episodes ago, I did say that... I was, uh, that I was a little leery with trading Pokemon from Pokemon, uh, Yellow to Crystal right here on the emulator for Pokemon Stadium 2 because, uh, one of the reasons to why my Pokemon Stadium 2 walkthrough has been stopped completely was because I was trading so much that, uh, yeah, I kind of messed up my, uh, kind of messed up my Pokemon Crystal file. I can, like, I, I can switch out Pokemon and all that stuff. But unfortunately, I can't get out of the the PC area. Like, if I move left or right, yeah, the screen turns glitchy, and then next thing you know, I'm I'm here looking like a you know I'm here looking like a dumbass. So, what's going to happen is that yes, I'm going to get these Pokemon, the original team. I'm going to you know level them up and all that stuff. They will be having Generation Two moves. That way, they're a little bit more you know to the times right here. And look at that, Serpentera grew to level 46, that's awesome. And maybe, just maybe, we will be using them. And, uh, yeah, our mom was calling us, and she's like, Hi, Draven! How are you? Well, I'm shopping today, I saw this adorable doll, so I bought it with your money. Sorry, it's in your room, you'll love it! Okay, so I probably should have gone to my room and, you know, seen what kind of doll she got, so... Let's see, there's nothing right here, I think. Nothing, yeah. So yeah, guys, the the team that I got in the last uh, walkthrough, Pokemon Yellow, you know, Act 2 and all that crud, and here's his, the old grandpa, he's like, oh, hello, I still can't find my granddaughter. If she's on this ship, that's okay. She's she's an ener energetic child, so she may be bugging some uh, someone. I'm worried. Yeah, you should be worried, man. These kids, energetic. Just ask me. I got, like, two nieces and a nephew. This is not going to be cool. Hey, kid, want to battle with me? Sure, why not? Okay, so, like I was saying, guys, we will get these Pokemon from the old generation, from the last generation, and yes, we will be traveling with these Pokemon in uh, Generation 3. How this is going to work, it's, uh, you know... Yeah, it's, it's a... How it's going to work, it's like this. Whatever level we end up... It's going to be the same level going into the next generation. Why would I want to have these Pokemon in the next generation? Well, it's just a collection. I just want to have a collection of Pokemon right here on my team and, uh, you know, just have fun with this, you know, kind of like Gash Catch and you know, that kind of stuff. And, well, we defeated this guy. Bring on the twins. Unfortunately, double battle does not exist right here. So, let's go right ahead and battle. Anywho. So it took about a week or two off. Some of you guys are wondering what, what I've been doing. Well, I've been living, guys. I've been living. Football season's over. I sort of kind of took advantage of the fact that, you know, I need a break. I need a small break, and that means from every little thing. But luckily for me, I like to stock up on videos just because, well, you know, that's just me. I'm a very, very uh, hardworking individual. Yeah. We kind of did that. Plus, you know, just took some time off from, like, everything else in between. I took a nice break from uh, from work. And, uh, yeah, I feel very, very energetic now. Very energetic to get back onto this thing right here. Uh, like I said, yes, we will be finishing this walkthrough up by the end of the year. That way you guys can have, like, a full walkthrough done. And then going into the following year, just getting the next few walkthroughs done right here, too. Yes, yeah, so I am uh, on a little bit of a crusade to, you know get this whole uh, redo done and all that stuff with all the walkthroughs that I've been doing. Plus, the main reason why I've been asking questions on my community page, and uh, there is nothing right here. Hmm. Well, 
No, let's go right here. And I think this guy will battle us? I'm going to Kanto on, uh, to put on a fire breathing show. Okay. Fire breathing show it is. Now, we're gonna be going into Kanto. I have already written down exactly what I want to do going into Kanto. There are gonna be certain places that I'm gonna be skipping, like, uh, certain routes. Well, I wouldn't say skip. I would say, you know, speed button away because how long these, uh, these episodes may be going into a certain said, you know, routes and all that stuff. I think I'm going to be focused more on to the story. That way we get to red and all that stuff. And, uh, well, let's see. Here we go. Taking on another coughing. Let's give somebody else the love right here. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and give Hera. Okay, yeah. So... Yeah, that's that, that's probably that's probably what we're gonna be doing right here in the second part of this whole walkthrough right here because a lot of things have been taken away in Generation Two that they sort of fixed going into the Heart Gold Soul Silver series, which by the way I asked a question on that and uh, well I've heard you loud and clear guys so keep your eyes peeled for that. So yeah, that's uh that's that's one order of business right there and uh, well let's see Fire Breather Kyle would like to come out with a Flareon. I don't know how many of you guys don't like Flareon, so let's go back to Torpedo right here. And I think we're gonna be going into like five straight Pokemon battles. Or five straight gym battles. That that way you guys can get something out of this whole thing. Uh, another thing too, with these Pokemon that will be traded in, I think I'm gonna be doing that next in the next episode. That way, that way you guys can see what I'm bringing in. That way you guys, you know, like you know. Feel good about one more trade episode since many of you guys like the trade episodes. Uh, I don't know about the whole Pokemon Emerald walkthrough and all that stuff going into trades. Still trying to figure that out in the VBA. So, if anybody can lead me to any kind of like VBA, uh, what was it called? A uh, tutorial on how to trade on the VBA, then that would be awesome. That'd be great. You know, I'd be doing a lot more trades right there. Alright, so here we are right here, going into the bottom floor. This guy will not let you through, so if you talk to him, he's like, Hey kid, could I get you to look for my buddy? He's, goof or he's goofing off somewhere. That lazy bum. I want to go find him, but I'm on duty right now. He said duty. Okay, so now we got to look for this guy, and uh, if memory serves me correctly, he is going to be right here, I think. No. Okay, he's going to be somewhere sleeping. We're in the mother of love. Is he? I think he's right here. He should be right here. Nope, that's the grandpa. He's still looking for his grandchild. Uh, and nope, those are those two people or individuals. And where in the heck is this guy? Okay, seriously, you have to go in the furthest room. Jesus, criminy. Okay. Yeah, this guy had to go into the next room, right? Probably right here. Yeah, th there he is. Okay. So I talk to him. He's like, yeah, I'm a sailor. All right. I wasn't goofing goofy off. This cabin was vacant, so I took a quick nap. Ah, forget it. Let's battle. Okay, all right. So he wants the battle. Let's go right ahead. Let's do this thing. Let's do this shindig right here. And here comes a Machop. All right, Machop, how's it going? My name is a uh, good old Draven right here, and we're gonna be doing this surf attack for the win. Okay, all righty. Surf attack does its thing. And just like that, Machop has been defeated. Okay, alrighty. Look at that. Experience points all the way. And Serpentera is getting some points too without doing anything. So he's going to be coming out with a Machoke. So let's go straight to Togepi. About to get to level 50. Look at this guy. Look at it. You know, a graphic that they should have done it was it moving its perpeculating pectorials. If you guys don't know what that is, go to my wife and kids. Terry Crews. You guys will know exactly what I mean. So here we go. Fly attack. And here we go. Machoke has been defeated. Yes, sir. Okay. Alrighty. And Serpentera getting points too. And well, Stanley's going to be coming out with a side deck, so let's go with Chico. Hey, Chico. Como estas? I haven't seen you in like about a week or two. Maybe. I don't know. Depending on my planner right here. All right, Chico, let's go with the, the Razor Leaf. Make yourself famous right here. All righty. And uh, just like that, Chico wins Reza Ramon. Shout out to the homie who uh, keeps on coming out with the wrestling uh, 
the wrestling comments right here. Sorry, man, forgot your name, but yeah. And so after defeating this guy, he's like, being a sailor, I have to do physical labor. It's exhausting. Then why become a sailor? I mean, I don't know. If I know anything about sailors, they enjoy, well, kind of. I don't know, they kind of enjoy the whole the whole thing. So, after doing uh, that whole shindig right there, talk to this individual, he's like, Thanks, kid! I chewed him out. Good, and he'll quit slacking off. A little girl? I may have seen her go by here. Alright, where is she? Now, before we battle, let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here, because, well, you know. So, let's see. Uh, the mission right now is to get uh, everybody up to level 50. I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> I feel seasick. Well, this guy's gonna be uh, barfing off a lung rag here. So, here we go. Let's get it. And he's coming out with a Mr. Mime. So, what am I coming out with? Oh, Serpentera. Alrighty. And, well, Serpentera, do your thing. Iron Tail and Yeah, completely forgot about the whole uh, Quick Claw thing. But... You know, defense compensate for sort of all that, all that stuff. So here we go, Iron Tail for the win. And just like that, Mr. Mime is not looking, is not looking so good right there. Serpentera gets a little bit more points. And well, let's see, Macho, that is definitely a Pokemon I don't want to take on. So let's go with Togepi, see how it's doing right here. And Macho is looking uh, pretty fierce right there. It's looking like a buff Bagwell right there. You know who it is. All right, so here we go, fly attack. And focus energy. Oh, crud. That can't be good. So here we go, fly attack for the win. And Machoke has been eliminated. Okay, all righty. Look at that. Okay, Serpentera. That's right. Okay, so he's coming out with a, a Magmar. Magma. All right, Torpedo, you're up next. So, let's see. Plans going forward, guys. Plans going forward into... Plans for plans going forward after this walkthrough. Yes, I, I am intending to play Pokemon uh, Emerald. I probably already started doing some walkthrough episodes. But I have been doing quite a bit of, uh, of planning. I have. Um, a lot of planning on keeping up a schedule for, you know, walkthroughs to, to be showing up and all that stuff. Uh, Pokemon Emerald, like I said, I've been doing a little bit of work. Hopefully, I get everything done by, you know, by the time uh, you know we hit Christmas and all that stuff. But yes, we've been doing a. Uh, we're gonna be doing some Pokemon Emerald. Maybe some. Uh, okay, let's check the. I want to check it. There's nothing there, bro. I thought you were throwing up. So yeah, doing some uh, scheduling and all that stuff. I think, I think there's gonna be a very very good schedule for a bunch of walkers that I want to come out with. Ever since I started doing this this walkthrough again, I've been kind of getting the itch to make uh, everything a little bit better, if you guys know what I mean. Uh, this has been received pretty well, so I might as well just, uh, you know, redo some of the walkthroughs that I like. That way you guys can, uh, can, you know, have a very good taste in your mouth and all that stuff. And yes, I have, you know, I have opened up... Well, I finally started uploading walkthrough videos on my Pokemon Journeys HD channel, and that, of course, is going to be a, uh, what was it called, uh, a hack game exclusive kind of, uh, channel. That way, you know, you guys have two different kinds of, uh, channels for, uh, from Gym, Le Gym Leader Draven and all that stuff, and, uh, hopefully that goes well. As many of you guys already know, I've already completed Pokemon Unova Red and Liquid Crystal, so the, the walkthrough videos that you're watching in that channel are just the ones that I've completed during the pandemic. I'm not planning on, you know, I am not planning on uh, replaying them or anything because, well, you guys can, can can tell by the sound of my voice. Liquid Crystal was a little too long for me, and then Unova Red it was kind of a, I don't know, it was kind of a, a disappointment in my in my view because it was like, well, shoot, that's it, you know. I don't know. Anywho, let's go ahead and uh, talk to this lady right here. And she's like, I'm so bored. What a battle. Sure, why not? Let's battle. I'm a good guy, right? Okay. So here we go. Picnicker Deborah wants to battle. And she is coming out with a Sea King. Sea Queen. Sea King, Sea Queen. Probably. I don't know. 
Alrighty, so here we go. Let's get it with a Thunder Punch right here. And just like that, Sea Queen or Sea King is getting defeated. You know, if I actually had a Sea King on my team and if it was a female, yeah, probably Sea Queen. You know, that kind of stuff. And Serpentet grows levels too. And there we go, Deborah. She's like, yo, you're, you're too strong. Yes, I am. Whatever you say, baby. All right, uh, Saffron Celadon. I hear there are so many cities, uh, big cities in Kanto. Yes, I, I, I heard too. And uh, there's no items right here. Good gravy. They could have just filled up on the items. So we all know this one place. We we'll go ahead and see. And then, well, look, she's playing around with the, the captain. And she's like, Captain, play with me, please. I'm bored. I want to play more. Hi, will you play with me? Oh, Grandpa's worried about me. I have to go. I have to find Grandpa! Alrighty, and uh, well, we cut out, and well, Grandpa's right there, and it's like, Grandpa, here I am, I was playing with the captain and this guy. Grandpa's so happy, he's like, Draven. Well, Draven, was it? I heard you entertain my granddaughter. I want to thank you for that. I know! I'd like you to have this. We get ourselves a metal coat, and uh, well... <laughs> Well, Lexi, the, the SS Aqua has arrived to Vermilion City. Okay, so, Lexi, uh, I think there's an item right here that we can get rid of. Oh, crap, baskets. I don't think there's one. Oh, my God. Okay, so, yeah. There is one thing we can do. Uh, give me just a moment, guys. We do have a PC here, so I'll be right back with you guys. I'm back, baby. Okay, so we put one Moonstone away, Talk to this guy. He's like, okay, he's gonna be giving us the Metal Coat. Do you guys see why I didn't want to wait till this moment to evolve my Onyx? Because it takes this long, so we're gonna be using this on, uh, Scyther and all that stuff. Anywho. We're traveling around the world and talk to this girl. I had lots of fun playing. I wonder what the captain will give us. Yeah, let's go ahead and check him out. Let's go right ahead and check him out and see where he's at. I think he should be giving us something like, Hey, thanks for getting this girl off me. I would like to give you a gift. Like, I don't know, a rare candy or something like that. Come on, man, help me out. We're going to be playing against Red very, very soon here. And uh, I don't want to risk it. So, let's go ahead and talk to this guy. See what he's all about. Whew! Thanks for coming along. Keeping that little girl amused was exhausting. That's it? Nothing? Not even a, you know, big old bag of weed or something? Ah, you guys suck. Okay, so let's see. Read that. No, no there's nothing reading that. Okay, so that was pretty much it. We have arrived into the Kanto region, and uh, yeah, we're going to be having a lot of fun, guys. Lots and lots of fun. Bigly. Lots of fun. Yes, I know what kind of reference that is, but we're going to have lots of fun right here. And, well, let's go right ahead and get the F out of right here. Talk to this guy. Fast Shift has arrived in the Vermilion City. Alright, we're going to be stopping right here, and... First thing you notice, guys, coming out of this whole place is the song. There is going to be a major change coming into the Kanto region, guys. The music to battling, both trainers, gym leaders, and, uh, well, the Pokemon. And look at that. They changed everything. Now, going back into that little story that I, I, I started off with the episode, guys. This right here amazed me because, I mean, let's go into the Poke Gear. Look at that. We are right here in the Kanto region. That got me excited. I wanted to go visit everything and I wanted to see if like our old self was going to be there or something like that. My god, it was something. I, I was excited. I was very, very excited and I was kind of like, you know, I was a little bummed that I had to like, you know, I kind of felt like I wasted my time battling the Elite Four over and over and over again. but. Then again, it kind of like worked out for the best. Now, first things first, as you guys can see, there is a Snorlax snoring peacefully. We can't go anywhere. There's trouble afoot. Skill trainers gather in Kanto. Gym leaders are especially strong. They won't be easy to defeat. How much you want to bet? So here we are, guys, in Vermilion City. Oh my god. And, well, in the next episode, guys, yes, we are going to be... Introducing our Kanto Pokemon. We're gonna be putting them in the PC, and uh, you yeah, know, you guys are gonna be amazed at what kind of Pokemon we got, um, or what I did, or something like that. But yes, we will be getting our Kanto Pokemon into our file right here. That way, you know, you guys can see a little bit of this, a little bit of that, you know, that kind of stuff uh, in the whole Kanto region. 
now we are enabled to use our Kanto Pokemon. I cannot wait, guys. So stay tuned. Thank you guys again for watching, for being patient and all that stuff. We will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough. See you guys.